What's up, everybody? It's your man, KJ the Great, dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's talk about this, man. We got some big news today in the sport of women's boxing. Now, I was reluctant to make a video about this fight because I heard there were some uh, big time details that were waiting to get released over, you know, how this fight was going to go and take where it was going to take place. Uh, so everything has been released today that the current undisputed women's featherweight champion of the world, Amanda, the real deal Serrano, who is 45 wins, two losses, one draw with 30 wins coming by way of knockout. She'll be taking on Danilo Ramos, who is 12 wins, two losses, no draws with one knockout. To her credit, this fight will be taking place October 27th, Orlando, Florida. The reason I'm so hyped up about this, the reason so many people are hyped up about this, because it will be the first time since 2007 where women will fight 12 rounds for three minutes. Y'all heard that right? 12 rounds for three minutes. Yes, indeed. Now, as you guys know, a lot of people um, have been against women fighting for three minute rounds and 12 rounds or even 12 two minute rounds or 12 three minute rounds. And there's a lot of scientific study on why they should or shouldn't X, Y, Z, all of that. But the uh, Florida Athletic Commission approved it. Now, in this fight, only three belts will be on the line. The WBA, IBF, and the WBO will be on the line. As the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman said he will not sanction a fight uh, for women fighting 12 three-minute rounds. Um, and his reasons are that, like I said before, he believes it's a safety issue. Um, he believes, you know, women can get hurt quicker and experience more long-term damage. But it, 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 um, I don't think there's so much out there that is conclusive to back that up. You know, there's a lot of research, but nothing is very conclusive with that. Now, top-ranked ESPN promoter Bob Arum stated that he is all pretty much in a nutshell he is all for <clears throat> women boxing moving to 12 rounds three minute three minute rounds because he believes it'll peak interest in uh women's boxing even more than where it's at right now you look at women's boxing right now it is bigger than it's ever been especially overseas and it's, it's pretty big here in the States, but it's not as big as overseas, but it's big here in the States than it's ever been. And that's for that's a fact. And I agree with Bob Aram. It may um, pique a lot of people's interest in watching uh, women's boxes. As you look at over at the MMA, the men fight three five minute rounds. So do the women in title fights. It's five five minute rounds. So do the women. Now, a lot of boxers, uh, female boxers, women boxers, have been calling for 12 three-minute rounds for a long time now. Most notably, uh, the current pound-for-pound -pound number one women fighter in the world, Clarissa T-Rex Shields, um, she was calling for or has been calling for uh, at least 12 two-minute rounds, um, if not 12 rounds with three minutes. Because, you know, they believe it'll be more exciting. You'll see more knockouts. You'll see the difference in uh, just fighting for two quick, two minute quick rounds. Where it's just like that's where as soon as you get ready to settle in for that last minute and start throwing, you know, then you got to go back to your corner for another minute. Now, a lot of these women fighters, they do train 
you know, three to five minute rounds or whatever uh, while they're in training camp. So why not push it to that limit? I'm, I'm all, I'll be honest. I'm all for it. Now, uh, mo- uh, a notable fighter who fought 10 three-minute rounds um, not long ago was Senecia Estrada, where she got a stoppage victory over uh, Merlin Esparza. I believe that's how you say the name. Um, that was a really, really great fight for her and proving that, you know, she could do it and a lot of other women can do it. Now, I'm not saying every woman can do it, but for a fact, the elite fighters, I'm sure they could probably do it. You know, your Clarissa Shields, your Katie Taylor, obviously Amanda Serrano, your Alicia Baumgartner, Chantel Cameron's, uh, Savannah Marshalls, um, <clears throat> Shadesha Greens, all, you know, uh, Hannah Gabriels, if she gets cleared for everything, Jessica McCaskill. I believe, you know, Michaela Mayer, all of those type top level women fighters, I believe all of them could definitely fight 12 rounds, three minutes in each round. And it'll definitely boost, like I said before, it'll boost a lot of interest in, in how they would fare in these, you know, extended rounds and extended fights. Now, with this fight, Amanda Serrano, Danila Ramos, I am predicting Amanda Serrano to get the stoppage in this fight. I'm going to say this fight goes seven rounds at best. Amanda Serrano gets another stoppage on her record, retains her titles, and was looking forward to possibly getting that... uh, Rematch at some point with Katie Taylor. Um, Eddie Hearn did say that, you know, uh, they still hope to get that rematch with Katie Taylor, although Katie Taylor uh, lost to Chantel Cameron and has a rematch with her coming up. They said they still that's still a big fight and they still want to make that fight. So, yeah, I believe that fight will still happen. I think um, if Katie Taylor wins, um, the interest will be back where it was. Amanda Serrano wins in dominant fashion. The interest just piles on in, and those two ladies can go at it for 12 three-minute rounds. And I definitely believe somebody's going to get knocked out in that fight if something happens. Because if you go back and watch that first fight, oh, man, Katie Taylor, you were wavering in that last round. Not going to say nothing, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Drop that comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJTheGreat09. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know I'm a little late dropping some videos, but had a little sinus infection stuff going on. Got a little cold, but I'm back on it. We back, All Sports Media. Peace.